Okay, guys. As Welcome a foreigner, public transport in Jakarta. One of the most cities in the world. Getting around Jakarta can be quite confusing. Notorious for its traffic. Dear Alexandra, my friend, please don't take any action and this is my reaction. If you don't so like it, let me come and deal it. I'll take down the videos. Never been here before. You're going to need lots of patience and a good sense of humor because not everything is going to wow, go your way. Wow, very nice as a foreigner. Alexandra, I request to you, please don't take any action against my reaction. If you don't like, let, just let me come and do your opinion. This is trying Jakarta's public transport as a foreigner. Alexandra, he from Europe, the foreigner, he travel in Indonesia, mega buildings about Jakarta. Wow, very nicely. Also feeling exciting to watch it. Very nice. And I also will be in Jakarta and make as a foreigner how I feel in Jakarta as life. Now I'm taking at just a bar swap. In very soon I'll I also take a live tour from Jakarta and hold in the and I'll take down your videos if you don't like it. I re upload this one. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Jakarta. Good so morning, today my friend. I'm going to attempt to learn how to use the public transportation system here in Jakarta. I've All been right. staying here for an entire week now, and basically, I've just been using the taxis here. So, I feel like it's going to be a pretty difficult process because there's going to be possibly a language barrier, and I literally have no idea what I'm doing. So, I'm going to try to visit North Jakarta, Central Jakarta, and then South Jakarta using the three types of public transportations here. Last night I did some research and uh, it turns out the easiest way for me to do this is going to be to get a prepaid top-up card. So uh, I learned uh, that I can get these at card. Indomart uh, or Apple Mart. So that is where I'm heading right now transport. and hopefully I won't have any trouble getting one. So I'm walking just down the street from my apartment complex and there's three malls here just in this one area and it's actually a much, much nicer area because at least they have convenience stores here and uh, little cafes and restaurants you can visit. At my place, there's literally no cafes. Now, in Jakarta, there's three types of public transportation you can use. The first of which is the uh, Trans Jakarta buses. Uh, the second is the KRL, which is basically like the commuter trains. They run all around the city as well as down south of Jakarta. Um, and the very last is the new MRT lines. Uh, which is basically like the metro system here in Jakarta. So it looks like I'm gonna have to walk into this gated off private apartment building to get to Indomart. Of course, all the instructions are in Bahasa, so I can't read it. I literally just spent 20 minutes trying to get this card here at uh, Indomart and Alphamart. So let me explain. I went to Indomart because I read online that you can get it, this card at Indomart. The language barrier was pretty extreme. Uh, they couldn't speak English, so I had to use Google Translate. And uh, Indomart said they didn't have the prepaid card. So I went to Alphamart. They had it, but they told me they couldn't top it up. And then I went back to Indomart. And in the morning, I was like, no, we can't top it up. So yeah, now I got to figure out how to get this, how to top up this card with money on it. Now, before we continue any further, I want to quickly explain the five different cards you can get to make traveling around Jakarta a lot easier. These five prepaid cards can be used at any of the MRT stations, and they're going to be your Iman. quickest way to use transportation in Jakarta. So you're not wasting any time at the yeah, ticketing smart machine. So, in I was Jakarta. literally at this Apple Tower right behind me here for the last 10 minutes trying to figure out the ATMs because the prepaid card is from BNI which is inside so my credit card wouldn't work so I couldn't top it up with my card you couldn't, you couldn't put cash into it so the security guard told me that at this bus station there's a kiosk so maybe I can top it up that way nice gentleman that's handling the tickets here helped me out to figure out how to top up my card here so I'm gonna show you guys because it's actually quite difficult for a foreigner that doesn't speak Bahasa okay so first you gotta put your card on you gotta hold it down so and then you hit top up then all right once we use like this twice again Malaysia, yes. all right and then you pick how much money you want to put on so I put 100k on 
gets past. Yeah. Oh, and then this one. Yeah. And then it's gonna tell you put the money in. So you put the money in. And then it's gonna bring you a receipt. Pretty simple. AP speak Bahasa. And I'm now back in uh, Chinatown. So if you guys saw in the last video, wow. that's where me and Anastasia went uh, to explore this area. So I'm pretty familiar with it. And uh, we got a bajai last time. So this time I'm actually gonna try to attempt to get the same price without her negotiation skills. Because I, don't, I only speak English, so we'll see how this is gonna go. I know the price is 20K what we paid last time. So it's gonna be interesting to see if I can get that same price now. Uh, but up, uh, the old town. Huh? Old town. Oh, you mean? Yeah, yeah, but up. Uh, Tua, yeah? Yeah, yeah, but up. Kota Tua, apa itu? Ya, Kota Tua, nanti. Berapa? Berbeza. Hah? 30, 30. 20. Hah? 20. 3. Oh, macet, no, lihat, no. Nah, 20. 30. Yeah. 30. I think I got it for 20, we'll see. Kiss. All right, so I am back in the old town where I was uh, in last, last week's video. So let me give you guys my first impressions of uh, riding the transfer card of buses here. So riding on the transfer card bus is actually impressively nice um, and very efficient. Un unfortunately, it's just so difficult for a foreigner to figure out how to use it first, so, which is exactly why I'm making this video for you. Google Maps does an amazing job of telling you where, which bus stop to go on, which bus stop to get off on, so that you get right here to this exact spot. Transcarta does have an app. It gives you the entire lines that go through the city, but you have to be able to know which district you're going to and which district, district you're starting at. Which as a foreigner, I don't know the area that well. So it's really a lot easier for me to just type in Tamanang Grek on uh, my Google Maps and put in my destination, Chinatown, and Google Maps just does an amazing job of just directing me which stop to get on and get off. Also, it tells you how much it is, so you can expect to know what the final price is gonna be. Overall, the bus is really nice, really clean. They do announce which stop you're arriving at in Very Bahasa smart, and in English, so great job, Transjakarta. As I mentioned in my last video, the area is pretty much closed off unless you're going into the restaurant in there. Um, so really if you wanted to, you could walk down this center street because there's really no cars. A lot of the streets here and the, and the highways here in Jakarta, they actually have a barrier for regular transport like cars and bikes um, and the buses. So the buses have their separate lane. Now of course, obviously, some locals don't always abide yes, by that rule. But yeah, they have Jakarta. a bus lane specifically for buses, Jakarta, which is why sometimes it's much quicker in traffic. System. Award. Sustainable transportation, transportation award. Getting to the Monas, uh, I actually have to use Trans Jakarta again, have to use the buses, because the MRT in Jakarta is actually very new. So it only starts at central Jakarta and it goes all the way down to south Jakarta. There's no other line except for that one. So there's only 14 stops and they cost 1K for every stop basically you get on. quickly and so efficiently. It only took me 10 minutes to get here. 
So I'm now in central Jakarta, right next to the Monas, the truck beside me. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go in yet. We'll see how much it costs because it's about to be rush hour. The sun's beginning to set and uh, I wanna get on the MRT line because I wanna get on it before literally it gets packed in there and I'm making my way down to South Jakarta. There's the Monas right there. I'm probably on the complete wrong side to go inside, but yeah, that's the uh, car entrance, I'm assuming. I'm arriving at Bundaran High Station, which is the very first stop on the MRT line. And it goes all the way down south, so hopefully I can figure out how this thing works. Hopefully it's not very different compared to the uh, Transjakarta line. And maybe I can just use my uh, prepaid card for it. Okay, here we go. Hello. So fancy here. Hello. So I only need this, which is nice. I don't need to go to the vending machine. Cool. This is really nice, really impressive. A lot of security. So yeah. I mean, it's pretty much brand new. It was very impressive. And there's a security guard yeah, on the station on the impressive. actual train. So uh, I didn't want to film too much because there was people on board as well, but very impressive. So these are the vending machines if you don't have one of these cards. So you just get a machine, get a ticket in here. The so single trip 15, multi trip 25. Apparently, under 90 centimeters, you can ride free too. <laughs> this entire station is just so clean. Um, as I mentioned, the, on the train, wow, this thing's really slow. Once they finish building this entire uh, around the entire city, it is going to be so easy to get to where you need to go. It is so quick, so simple. Just make sure you guys have one of these because it, you literally just tap and you get in and then depending on how far you go on the actual train is how much you get charged. So I believe from the start to this QBK station, it cost me 5K overall, which is really cheap. This southern part of Jakarta, wow, so clean. Hardly any traffic so far. Well, on the other side, there's a lot of traffic, but it is so beautiful down here. You know, I, I think after staying here for an entire week, I wish that I would have stayed maybe in the central area of Jakarta or may maybe even the southern part. So the gate was open, just walked right in. Nobody really stopped me. So it uh, really reminds me of Central Park. Right behind me, you have this huge park area and all these skyscrapers behind me as well. Stunning, and you've got a lot of people just walking, jogging in this area, doing some exercise, and you got like, taxis, so. Really, really nice. I like this area. So the sun's already beginning to set. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do um, the KRL, which is the commuter train. So that runs all the way down south of Jakarta to a city called Bogor, I believe is the name of it. 
and I think I'm gonna save that one for a little later because it's gonna be pretty much dark by the time I actually get on that train. Wow, there's smart places. This is outside of the stadium. Got lots of people working out over here. This is a perfect place to do a run. Almost I completed. Wish Jakarta, Jakarta has a running track and a park just like this, man. All right, well, I made it down to GPK Stadium, got my prepaid card, and got on the Transit card as well as the MRT line. I didn't get on the KRL the commuter line, but I think I'm gonna do that next week. Uh, I'm gonna try to plan a trip to Bogor. I believe is the name how, is how you pronounce it. So it's gonna be an interesting experience. If you want to see the KRL line, how to how to go from Jakarta down south, uh, make sure you guys are subscribed. Let me know if there's anything nice you guys would have done differently friend. from what I did, because again, I am inexperienced in uh, using the public transport here. So if, for yeah, those of you that do live here, if there's anything that you guys do differently that makes it a lot easier, awesome comment down job. below, let me know so that so that for the next two weeks I'll have a much easier experience here. But overall I'm very impressed with the public transportation here in Jakarta. It's a lot easier than uh, you may think. Um, at first there's a bit of a language barrier, uh, especially if you're a foreigner and you don't speak Bahasa, but people are more than willing to help you. You just gotta ask. And, well, you can't really ask if you don't speak Bahasa, but you kinda just gotta use your hand motions pretty much. So that's exactly what I did. And uh, people yes, are more than willing to help, polite. obviously. So I hope you guys and enjoyed today's video. Hopefully the foreigners that are watching this video, hopefully that was helpful for you because it was an interesting experience for me. Very stressful at one moment, but once I have, once you get this card and you top it up and you know how to do it, it's it's very easy. From what I read online though, you only can use this one per person. So if you're trying traveling with a friend or with your girlfriend or boyfriend, then you're gonna need two of these. But I did see somebody use use this card for their friend as well, so I don't know. It says online you can't do it, but apparently you can. So I hope you guys found this video very helpful or entertaining, one or the other. And if you guys did, make sure you guys like the video, comment down below any questions you have, and please subscribe, it really helps the channel. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Mr. Alexandra, dear friend, you uploaded very enjoyable and very beautiful, very entertaining, very happy video. I enjoyed it a lot. I, I, I enjoyed it a lot about Jakarta public transport. How you enjoy, how you write about public transport uh, from Jakarta in Jakarta as a foreigner. I also feel appreciated. I also feel motivated that when I will move in Jakarta and make a blog video about public transport and describing everything about Jakarta and walking blog from Jakarta and shopping mall blog Jakarta now I also feel very excited guys you nice Mr. Alexandra my dear friend you are from which country you are from which country I'm not sure by the way your description uh, everything about public transport in Jakarta very well very nice very smart and your blog very professional blog guys very smart blog thank you for uploading for giving us entertainment from about Indonesian public transport you did do very hard work you did very hard work and I understand about that because I also a video blogger now, just uh, I understand you did very hard work on the on the sunny day, walking and making videos. Everything it is it is too hard job. It is too tough job. So, guys, and do more hard work, and your channel also to faster grow. Indonesian people are very polite. You describe very nicely. The people are very polite and and they are very helpful people. Indonesian people. I see one of the taxi driver, baby taxi driver nicely he try helping to you guys i understand i i see that i see that so guys and mr alexander my dear friend if you don't like our reaction about these videos please you also can write the comment section below your opinion if you don't like it please just write comment section below i'll take them i i'll take down these videos if you don't like it but this is my pleasure my enjoy and my entertainment that's why i just was it i, I really i feel it i really i feel it so guys no more today's you know if you are from indonesia let me comment below about your opinion your reaction about public transport in indonesia guys no more today's you know